It's a 21st century gold rush. Countries around the world are looking to the precious metal to cure their dollar dependence. The main switchers are China and Russia, but Eastern Europe is now joining in for its own reasons. Like many, Slovakia has its gold reserves in the UK. And now, former Prime Minister Robert Fico is trying to get it back. I guarantee that if something happens, we won't see a single gram of this gold. Let's do it as quickly as possible. Fico is at the helm of Slovakia's biggest political party, and he says it's safer to keep the 31 tons of gold in his own country. Why? It could have something to do with when Venezuela tried to recall its own gold from the UK. In early 2019, the U.S. began actively supporting Venezuela's self-proclaimed president, Juan Guaido, against President Nicolas Maduro's legitimate government. When Maduro sought relief from crippling sanctions by tapping into the overseas gold reserves, the Bank of England outright refused, after Washington pulled some strings, of course. Even then, experts could see the writing on the wall. One of the few things left for Britain is to be the financial center that London has been for so long. And one of the ways you stay a financial center is if you don't play games with other people's money. It is not for the Bank of England to pick who it's going to give money to uh, that comes from another society. And you can be sure that every government in the world is going to rethink putting any money in London as they used to do when they're watching this political manipulation with the money they entrust to the British. That prediction panned out. Fico was far from the first to demand a recall of gold. Days earlier, Poland recalled 100 tons of its gold reserves from the Bank of England. And the Polish National Bank was certainly happy about it. We managed to increase the strategic reserves of gold and take steps to repatriate a large part of Polish gold. By implementing our constitutional, statutory and simply patriotic commitment, we not only build the economic strength of the Polish state, but also create reserves that will safeguard its financial security. This is the global trend, but also the expectation of Polish society. Other Eastern European countries like Hungary and Serbia began recalling their gold as early as last year. Now, the mainstream media has covered this new gold rush, but what they'd probably like to avoid is admitting that it's getting pretty close to home. Take Germany. It just increased its own gold reserves for the first time in 21 years. Even U.S. economists are admitting the role of this precious metal is, quite literally, as good as gold. The question is, what else? That's the environment I think we'll be in. And there's a saying that gold is the only asset you can have that's not somebody else's liability. The de-dollarization of Eurasia would support Mr. Dahlia's worldview. So would a shift to a non-dollar reserve asset such as gold. Such a change would force the U.S. to sell dollars in order to settle its balance of payments in the new neutral reserve asset. The greenback has been very powerful for a very long time. But if countries continue to look for other reserve standards, it could mean the end for the dollar's golden age.